Hello, my name is Joseph Lanasa and I'm a technical writer for Synergy Advisors. Today I'd like to show you how you can use Microsoft Rights Management Services, or Microsoft RMS, to securely protect and share sensitive Office documents in your organization. You will see how the protection options are built into the Office user interface for easy and user adoption. I'll show you how permissions are embedded into the file so they provide persistent and granular protection. This means that as a document author, I can specify both who has access to my information and can control what is done with that information. In this example, we will protect an Excel workbook with a policy that allows a coworker to read the document but will be unable to print or edit it. Other users will not be able to access the workbook. Let's start on a client computer where I have just finished working on a sensitive Excel workbook that I need to share with my coworker. I'll click the Share Protected icon, which enables me to protect and share my document directly from within Office. I can use the slider bar to grant different permission levels according to my recipient. In this case, I want to grant my coworker permission to read the workbook, but I want to prevent her from printing or editing it. I will also select an expiration date for this document and set it for two years in the future. Notice that this automatically creates a draft mail message with the protected file already attached. We will send this message to Leia and share the protected workbook with her. Microsoft RMS also has the ability to protect email messages. We will explore this option in later demonstrations. Now let's move to the recipient's computer and view the protected workbook. Leia will open the email and then open the attachment. First, notice the permissions banner that appears, notifying Leia that she has opened a protected document. We'll click View Permission to see what rights Leia has within this document. Leia can view the file, but will be unable to print or edit it. Also notice that an expiration date has been set for these permissions. As we click File, notice that the Print and Save options are unavailable. Also notice that we cannot modify the document or copy any of its contents. As I mentioned, you can set different levels of permission depending on the situation. You can also set different levels of permission to different users and groups in the same document. Finally, imagine our document author saved this sensitive file to a file share that other users have access to. These users should not be allowed to access this file. We have logged on as one such user here, and you can see that this user does not have access to open the file. Users who have not been specifically granted access to a protected document are unable to open it. In this video, I have demonstrated how you can use Microsoft RMS to secure sensitive Office documents in your organization. You can specify both who can open a protected document and also limit what actions they can take on that document. Additionally, you can send email messages with protected files attached. Synergy Advisors provides consultancy and training focused on information protection with Microsoft RMS. For more information, please visit our website at synergyadvisors.biz or the Microsoft RMS website at microsoft.com/rms. Thank you for watching.